welcome back everyone welcome back to the channel another day another dollar essentially another treasure hunt more importantly rise and shine it is currently trash picking time we're going to try and find some treasure early on here in the morning and see where the day takes us Should be another fun adventure. It's over here. That looks like a shelf. But we'll see what we find. We're gonna hit the hot spots and make this another fun day and try to find some treasure. And hey, let's do it. Uh, I don't know if that's. We'll find out. I don't know if that's vinyl or metal. But, you know, I'm pretty sure someone can use this up at the market. Oh, it's not even metal. It's, it's like twine-ish. Hmm, 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 hmm. I guess I'll grab it. It's like one of those things, like I think a lot of people are going to touch it and think that it is metal, and then they're going to be like, ooh, I thought it was metal. I mean, it serves the same purpose, as if that was metal or not metal. So what's the big difference, other than maybe durability? It's one of those cargo containers that go on your roof. Throw that on the roof, that makes this van really tall. I can be completely wrong here, but I think we got a pretty decent score over here on the right. Now, this is where I found that basketball. There's like a street sign. Who knows what's down there? That thing on the right. Or on the left. No, there's not. Alright. We're going to see. What is that? Does that say Sesame Street? I don't know what it says. Let's throw these gloves on. Don't want to catch the big C. It's also getting really hot. That sun is starting to cook me, bake me, cook me. What is this? Seems good. There's all sorts of books. Seems good. I don't know what that is. This is scrap metal. Made out of wood. sign though not as not a sign of things to come just a sign like a legit sign not a huge fan of this plywood but because that's what it is it's plywood It'd be a lot cooler if it was metal but we'll give it a gander can't believe I found that out here not every day you find signs, or signage, I should probably say. All right, thought I saw this. Oh, probably should pop open this first. Oh, forgot to turn the, the jams down. We got out here a motor. Get yourself one of these motors. Motor price, I think motor price is what, six cents a pound? Maybe it's eight cents a pound. It bounces around. I know copper just went up probably three days ago or five days ago. And uh, I took all those aluminum copper radiators over that I've been hoarding for a long time. And it, the price went up five cents. So it is what it is. I mean, you win some, you lose some. Stalker town now. This guy threw away a couple bike helmets. They got like a spice rack there probably last week, two weeks ago. We're in Stalker town. I'm going to head over to the scrap yard, drop off this metal. Interesting array of stuff. I don't know what all that stuff is. Scaffolding, probably. I don't know. 
enough of it. Kind of crazy how there's actually like businesses in Stockton Town. I've always said I really want that one sign that's behind that street, that uh, that post, that telephone pole. Uh, the scrapyard opens in ten minutes, so we'll be there shortly. All right, now we're here. Ah, there's a nice green, like a Castro oil oil can up there, like a drum. Other than that, looks like just scrap metal. So that might even be that wheelbarrow from last week. Got a rotor down there. Really nothing really exciting here. Once in a while you'll find a couple things, but doesn't look like there's much today. Now to unload all the goodies. So we grabbed some things this morning, um, did not scrap my beautiful birdcage, the uh, inside swinging on it's kind of funny. Uh, this is one of the putters I grabbed, or one of the golf clubs I should say, I grabbed out of the trash and uh, the end piece on this is actually die cast. Well, that's what it goes as. This looks like cast aluminum, but they just take it as die cast, it seems to be. Funny thing is, die cast used to be half the price of aluminum, and now it's like 5% more than aluminum. And just bring it into the garage. Um, as you see, I have a lot of projects here. I have some other golf clubs down there. This is that grill piece that I have to take off these wing nuts. I can probably leave these. They probably won't care too much, but you gotta take off these wing nuts and this handle to get clean aluminum price. Got all sorts of wire, some brass, club aluminum. This is kind of like my take apart bin, but I'll show you how easy this is. So right now I would say that if I took it in just like this, I'd get four cents. If I take off this one piece here, let's just say that's a pound or whatever, I would have 20 cents. And this really isn't like a lot of people are probably like, oh, is it really worth your time? Like why didn't you just chuck into the iron pile? can't see that you might be able to see this but all i do is come along with some bolt cutters like that and now this goes back into the iron pile and then this piece which, which is now a pound of die cast gets thrown into my die cast <coughs> pile uh that die cast so it's now i made what I made, I made 16 cents more just by cutting that piece off. So that's what this whole bucket is all about pretty much. Like this would go most likely as dirty aluminum. There's a metal or an iron screw that runs through this wood piece. So this would just go as irony aluminum. But if we take out that screw and the wood piece, this would go as clean aluminum. So that's what this whole bucket here is for. Like this lamp I had at the flea market two days ago. Uh, it has some brass on the end. This most likely is brass. That bolt, or that nut there is probably brass. Uh, rather than chuck this all into the iron pile because this is iron, I then go ahead and separate it whenever I have time. So like, just by doing that, I made what? 16 cents more. It only took me 20 seconds to clip that. It really, you know, it's peanuts in terms of money, but it does add up. And whenever I have free time, that's kind of what I would like to do. So yeah, that's that. I also no longer need the sweatshirt today because it's already boiling out and I made a whopping $17 at the scrapyard. So I took out all the non-fair stuff. I still have the bird cage or whatever. Um, but I made 17 bucks in iron. It's like the pieces of the grill and all the other fun stuff we found, golf clubs, whatever it might be. 17 bucks. All right, so we're going to run up to the thrift store. I don't think I'll be shopping around, but I got a lot of donations here. I have five boxes of stuff. Uh, I probably have about another three or four boxes to go, but as you see, I have these prints up here. Box truck guy and I have worked out a deal. So this was kind of my spare area and my spare building. And uh, 
I have all these prints and these boxes still are filled, but I don't know how many I'm gonna fit in my Jeep. Uh, but the only problem I have here is these things take up a ton of space and until I get really organized, um, it, it's going to be tough to move. Now, Box Truck Guy does a lot of yard sales, so he'll just do fine, you know, he'll do fine with it. Um, I was selling them for a buck a piece. The only issue is when you take them up to the flea market and you sell them for a dollar each, eventually all the people who want them buy them. The other issue that I had at the flea market was the auction I got them at, other people bought individual boxes as well as there were a couple other pallets that were for sale. So um, stuff like this, if you don't buy literally everything, you're going to be competing with everyone. Uh, and to today, there's still people out there who sell these prints at the market itself. And I figured I might as well make the space, work out a deal with Box Truck Guy, and uh, he'll be happy. All right, so these are all packed up. This is all dead space. I don't want to put donations on top of this in case it like crushes. I don't think it would, but it might, um, or it'll fall over and ruin the front. Uh, but I can't fit another one right here. There's exactly 50 in here, as you see. Probably fit one more up here, but 51, why do that? Trailer man's trailer. All right, so I just caught a glimpse of back there. Maybe that black car right there. The line to do donations is astronomical. Oh, you can't catch it from here. There's legit a line probably 10 feet in there of cars trying to drop stuff off. Everyone's doing donations now. I want to pull it over there. I think that's Jay. That is definitely Jay's car. A hundred percent. <laughs> That's great. Going to see Jay for the first time in three months. All right, so I know he's, uh, Jay's definitely here. His car's out front, and uh, I just know his plans. His plans is he usually goes across the street, grabs pizza, and just leaves a cart here. And this is exactly like the stuff he would probably buy some shoes, some other shoes, an empty candy wrapper, and like a vintage tea. So it's just definitely his stuff. He just. You want me to answer his phone, uh, but I won't be sticking around too much longer. I actually went through all the t-shirts and the sweatshirts. The t-shirts are just depleted. I mean, it, it's bad. Generally speaking, this stuff is so packed in here, you can't even pull out one shirt. And as you see over here, there's three shirts, four in this rack, five in this rack. Kind of crazy. All right, so I did see Jay for a bit. Um, i drop off some stuff here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens every summer, it seems like. Especially with this closed down, this shut down thing, yeah. that's what happened, everybody was home doing nothing. Try not to drop off any garbage, you know how it is. Yikes. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Alright, kind of wrapping it up here. Jimmy's Hot Dogs here in Easton, Pennsylvania. This is, this might be considered Palmer, but I think the address is Easton. Uh, grabbed myself two hot dogs and a soda. feel like I'm in high school or, you know, the old days, I guess you can call it where that was like a lunch. Um, but that's gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed another video. I dropped off all the uh, all the donations as well as all the prints at Box Truck Guy's house. And uh, yeah, catch you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. I think we're going trash picking and uh, it should be a doozy. Catch you guys then. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.